I'm the DA. I was going 55 coming home from work. 55 and a 35. I don't really care. Okay. So you can call this. Can you, come, can you no, please no, come no. over here? No. You're on a, this is on a traffic stop, ma'am. Yes, it is. You can call Dennis Kohlmeyer right now. Okay. I'm telling you why I stopped you. You didn't stop at all. Did you not hear my lights or sirens or no, anything? No, I didn't, actually. I was on the phone. Okay. Well, you're not supposed to be on the phone while you're driving either. Yes, I am. With the hands-free, absolutely. Okay. Why are you so upset at me? I'm doing my job. No, you you just admitted that. to me that you were going 55 and a 35. Can I'm Phil Thoreau. Can to leave me alone? It's... Officer Chris Afouli. Can you stay over here, ma'am? You're. This no, is a traffic. I'm not this is a. This is a legal here. traffic stop. Do you have your ID? No, it's in my purse. Here. You have your purse right there. No, this is my lunch. Would you talk to your talk to Dennis? This is ridiculous. Just go away. Hello, sir. Good, ma'am. Can you please stay at the back? This is a le ma'am. This is legal this is traffic stop. stop. Can you please stay over here? No. no. Hey, baby, get your little guy out of here. Sir. I stopped her for going 55 and a 35 on Phillips Road, on Phillips Road. and Coming she failed to stop. She drove all the way back home and parked oh, in her garage, and now she's not she's not complying with any of my commands. Ma'am, do not go inside. Oh, my God. You Can you have a supervisor come to the scene? No. Get out of my fucking house. Here. I, don't know why, I don't know why you're acting like this towards me. Because Can you please go to the back of the vehicle? I'm not going to. I'm home. I was going... I was, okay, 55. I don't care if you got home. You were supposed to stop at Phillips Road when I pulled you over. Can you please step over here? I'm not going to. What is the reason you're you're so against what I'm doing? I'm doing my job. You say you're a DA? I am the DA. Okay. Okay, let me get you my badge. I am the DA in the, of Monroe County. If you give me a traffic ticket, that's fine. I'm the one who prosecutes it, okay? Just go ahead and do it. Go ahead. You know what I've been dealing with all day? Three murders in the city. And do you think I really care if I was going 20 miles over the speed limit? Okay, I'm just doing my I job. If you, pulled, if you pulled over when you saw my lights, which obviously you did. I thought you were going somewhere else because I okay. thought no one would ever pull a, a black SUV if you ran my plates. I didn't I run your plate. I just called your plate out. And then I'm following you because you're not stopping. So I had to take the air from dispatch. Well, you caught you call this. What do you want us to do? Not do our job because of you? No, it's fine. I said, write me a ticket. But I was just saying, I was not going to stop at Bill's Road at 5 30. Well, you broke it on the road because of that. Right? And you should know better. That's not a traffic That's an arrestable offense. I didn't want to stop at Bill's Road. I was bored down the street. I figured I would just stop in my driveway. That's what I figured. I thought, I thought it would be easier. I mean, it's your stop. I'm not going to interfere with that. Yeah. I, mean, I get that she came home. I mean, obviously, if I I'm just trying to no yeah. explain that to her. Like, no sense to come home. She came home. She failed to stop. I mean, it's a arrestable offense. I'm not trying to arrest the DA of the county, but also I want I don't want to not do my job in not at least write her something. All right, ma'am. So I'm issuing you. Speed that's, in zone, 55 and a 35. That's I'll take care of it since I'll be prosecuting myself. Okay. At the end of the day, if you see my lights and sirens behind you, and obviously they're going off, just pull over. We can have a conversation and be on our way. I kept my eye on your vehicle. I'm not going to check my computer to see what plate it is if a vehicle is not stopping for me. I want to keep my eyes on that vehicle for my safety okay, so I make it home at the end of the day. I okay? I apologize, but... I, I, I'm sorry that you had a bad day, yeah. and I'm sorry it went this way, but I do respect what you do. Have a good day, ma'am. Last Monday, I failed you and the standards that I hold myself to, and for that, I am so sorry. What I did was wrong, no excuses. I take full responsibility for my actions. I fell short of the values I've held for my entire 33-year career. I didn't treat this officer with the respect that he deserved. All police officers deserve respect. I am truly and sincerely sorry. I had just come from work. I was dealing with three homicides that occurred over the weekend. I watched a video where an innocent cab driver was executed and I was still reeling from a frightening medical concern that my husband received that afternoon. But we all had bad days and stress, and it was wrong for me to take it out on an officer who was simply doing his job. While I previously apologized to him, I will say it again. 
I'm sorry. Police already have a tough job, and that day I made this officer's job harder. To the community, I owe you full transparency. Here's what I'm doing to hold myself accountable. First, I already pled guilty to the speeding ticket, and I will willingly pay the fine. Next, I'm referring the entire matter to a district attorney from another county for review and will fully cooperate with that investigation. I'm going to self-report this incident to the Grievance Committee and I will cooperate with their investigation. Finally, if one of my assistant district attorneys had acted this way, I would have disciplined them. So I'm disciplining myself. I will take ethics training to remind myself that professionalism matters. I've been humbled by my own stupidity and I am fully to blame. I will make this right. I ask for your forgiveness.